Welcome to BizWire. I'm Joseph Nordstrom in Beijing. The president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, is in China this week, where he has signed several agreements worth several billion dollars. President Kenyatta met with Chinese President Xi Jinping, and the two spoke of widening political and economic cooperation. Kenyatta's one-week-long visit to Beijing following a stopover in Moscow highlights Nairobi's increasing focus on its so-called Look East policy. Among the $5 billion in agreements, deals involve building hydroelectric dams, wildlife protection and a railway from the Kenyan port at Mombasa linking all the way to neighboring Uganda. The rail link to Uganda is seen as significant. As Reuters reported last week, Uganda is borrowing large amounts of cash from China, which will build much-needed infrastructure, promising loan repayments at a later date with money made from future oil revenue. China is increasingly looking to African countries as a source of low-cost labor as wages rise at home. As economic growth takes off in Africa, Chinese exporters see a vast new market where they can sell their goods. But critics point out that trade with China is lopsided. Kenya's trade ministry says the country exported about $50 million worth of produce to China last year, compared to importing $1.8 billion worth of Chinese goods. Of course, not lost on China's leaders is Kenya's newfound sources of energy. Kenya is set to become East Africa's first oil exporter in just a few years, as the newly discovered oil reserves may have up to 10 billion barrels in deposits. Xi Jinping said China and Africa share the same fate and that Beijing was willing to assist African development. Kenyatta described China as a sincere friend and called for deeper political and economic ties. China became Kenya's second largest trading partner and Chinese investment in Kenya reached $474 million, the nation's largest source of foreign direct investment. Trade between the two nations was worth just under $3 billion last year, so the $5 billion in new agreements is a significant boost. Li Xinfeng, a specialist in African affairs at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, said Kenyatta picked China and Russia rather than the U.S. as his first destinations outside Africa, as Nairobi was seeking alternative sources of assistance amid strained relations with the West. Kenyatta and his vice president, William Ruto, have been indicted by the International Criminal Court in The Hague on multiple counts of crimes against humanity tied to the 2007 Kenyan election. Kenyatta and Ruto have denied the charges. The BBC reports that during Kenya's recent election campaign, the European Union said it would have limited contact with Kenyatta if he was elected president. The U.S. warned Kenyans of consequences if he was voted into office. President Kenyatta has accused the West of meddling in Kenya's internal affairs and pledged to strengthen ties with the East instead. So it looks like the United States is not the only country that is pivoting its focus towards China. You're watching BizWire on the Blue Ocean Network. All of our stories can be seen on our website bon.tv backslash biz dash wire. In just a second, we'll continue with more insight into the big picture of China's economy.